everyone! This week we're creating these three cute animal headbands, a cat, a unicorn, and a deer. Starting with the cat one first, you'll need a headband. I just used a thin, plastic, inexpensive one. Next you'll need a cord of some sort. This won't be part of the headband, we're just using it to measure it. So just place it around the headband, and then mark where the end was. So I'm just taking a permanent marker and marking that, and this will help with making the pattern for the ears. Look like that. So next I'm just going to take a plain white piece of paper and I'm going to fold it. And so the fold is down here at the bottom. Next I'm taking that cord and I want to make note of where halfway between the end of the cord and where we made that mark was and then lay that down on the paper and make a mark there on the paper. So we're just marking half of that space. Then I'm just going to go ahead and draw the ear. So just drawing a triangular shape and the bottom of it needs to be right at that mark that we made. And then once you've done that just draw straight down from those two sides. And then cut that out. So it looked like this and then I just went ahead and cut off those sharp points on the sides. Next, this is some black stiff felt. It's not regular felt, it has some stiffness to it. And I'm just going to take the ear pattern, unfold it, and trace it onto this black felt using a black sharpie to mark it. So it should look like this, and then I'm going to repeat that a second time so we create two ears. Then just cut those out. So you're left with this. Next take one of those ears and lay it down on a piece of paper and then just trace around just the triangular part. Then draw a smaller inner triangle, which will be the inner part of the ear, and then cut that out. So it looks like this and it fits on the ear just like that. So I'm tracing this twice onto some pink felt, just regular felt this time. and then just cut those out. So then we're going to attach these to the ears. So just decide where you want to position them. Take a hot glue gun and then just press them in place. So now I have the headband and I'm just going to arrange these on the headband and decide how far apart I want the ears to be. Once you've decided on that, take one of the ears off and we're going to glue this one on. First put some glue down for the headband to stick to, put some glue around it, then put some glue on the felt and then just press the two sides together, matching them up as best you can. And now we're going to repeat the process on the second ear. So glue the headband down and then just add glue around the felt, press the two sides together. And then if there's any extra you want to trim off, go ahead and do that now. And that's it for the cat headband. Next up is the unicorn headband. So I made this pattern for the horn. It's a little more complicated to make, so you can just get the same one I use at the link in the description. Next, I'm taking some aqua felt, and it's the non-stiff kind, and I'm tracing this pattern onto it. And then cut that out. So you're left with this. Then we're going to carefully form the horn by turning the edge over, putting some hot glue on it, and then just gluing the two edges together and working your way up the horn. Be very careful not to burn yourself. 
especially up here at the top. And then just glue that together as best you can. If there's extra felt, you can trim that off. So I'm left with this. Next, you'll need to stuff it. I'm just using some paper towel to stuff the horn. If you have real stuffing, of course, that would be a better choice. But if you're in a pinch, this will work. And it helps if you use a pencil or other tool to get it as far up the horn as possible. But just keep stuffing it until you reach the bottom. and try to get it as even as possible. Once you've reached the bottom and there's just a little felt left around the edges, you can take some hot glue and then just fold over the felt to glue it in place and give a more finished edge. Next, I'm taking some pipe cleaners, and these are some kind of iridescent glittery ones. And I'll just take one and fold it at the bottom, so the bottom can stick to the bottom of the horn. And then just put some glue there on the bottom. And carefully press it in place. And have it so it's starting on the back side of the horn. Then I'm just going to take it and wrap it around the horn. Going upwards. And try to wrap it as tightly as possible. And you should have just enough length to get to the top. Then just take some hot glue and glue it to the back of the horn at the very top. So it should look like this. Next just take a round object of some sort, this happens to be an LED tea light, and I'm tracing it onto that same aqua felt. This will just create a bottom for the horn. And then I'm going to cut that out, and it's a little big so just trim up some extra off the edges. So it will just glue in place right there with some hot glue. Next, I'll decide where I want to position it on the headband and just put some hot glue right there and be generous with the hot glue and then just press it in place. Then I'm just going to add a bunch more hot glue to make sure that it's really well attached. Then I'm going to take that felt again and just cut a rectangle. And this will just go across to make sure that it's really well attached. So adding some hot glue to that. And just pressing it in place. Next we're going to create the ears. I'm taking a regular white piece of paper and folding it just like we created the other pattern. And I'm taking that cord again, marking the halfway point. And then I'm going to draw the ear. So it's kind of like a leaf shape. Once I was happy with that, I cut it out, unfold it, and it looks like this. Next, I'm taking some white stiff felt. And I'm tracing this twice onto it.
and then cutting those out so they look like this. Next, take one of the ears, just like before, trace around it onto some paper, just the ear part, and then draw an inner ear part and cut that out. Then I'm tracing that twice onto some pink felt. Then cut those out, and then we're just gonna decide how to position them and hot glue them in place. So they look like this, and then just decide how far you want to place them from the horn, and then put some glue on the headband and press it against the inside of the ear and then just add some more glue just to get it well attached to the headband and then add glue around the ear and fold those two sides together. Now I'll repeat that on the other side and then glue to the headband and then just adding glue all over the ear and pressing the two sides together. And that is it for the unicorn headband. The last headband is a deer, which also could be a reindeer for Christmas. So I'm just taking a piece of paper and this time I'm not folding it. I'm just drawing out the shape of an antler. And again, this pattern will be available in the description. So it looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. And then I'm taking that and I'm tracing it onto some brown stiff felt, but I'm leaving a space here at the bottom. So just trace around that. And then pick it up and repeat that a second time, again leaving space at the bottom. So you're left with this. And go ahead and cut those out and make sure not to cut off the extra at the bottom. So they look like this. Now I went ahead and cut two more copies of these. This time I didn't leave the extra space at the bottom, I just cut the antler. And we'll be stacking two of these to create each antler. So take the one that has the extra space at the bottom and it will glue to the bottom of the other one. So you're just gonna take those two pieces and line them up. And once they're lined up, Go to the bottom part and fold over that extra and glue it in place onto the other antler. So they're now attached here at the bottom. Repeat that process on the other one also. Line them up and then just fold over that extra with some glue on it to attach them together. For this one, I'll be using a gold headband and to attach the antler, you're going to need a pipe cleaner. It doesn't matter what color it is because it's not going to show. And then just put it on the headband so it's about this tall. It doesn't need to go all the way up the antler. And then just wrap it tightly as possible about three times. So you have these two ends sticking up and then just twist those together. And trim off the extra at the top. So you're just left with this. And then I'm going to take those antlers and put it so it sandwiches the pipe cleaner in the middle. So just put some glue on the inside of one to attach the pipe cleaner. And then put some glue around the pipe cleaner and around the edges to start attaching the other side. And you'll need to keep lifting it up and adding more glue as you go up the antler. So just keep adding glue. So just keep adding glue until you get to the very top and the entire thing is attached. And if you have any spaces on the sides that are open and you don't like that, you can put some glue in there. And then if you have any felt here that didn't quite line up, you can trim that off all around the edges. 
Then finally to create the ears, I'm just using the same pattern that I used for the unicorn ears. Again, this will be available at the link in the description. So trace that twice onto some brown stiff felt and then cut those out. And then I use that same pattern I made for the inner ear. And I use that on some tan felt and then just glue those in place on the ears. Finally, just attach the ears to the headband the same way we did on all the other ones. Glue the headband in place and then just add some glue around the ear and fold the two sides together. And repeat on the other side. And that is it for the deer headband. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these kind of last minute costume ideas. If you'd like to see more Halloween videos for my channel, I'll put some on screen and feel free to subscribe to see future videos. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.